we end season four with a tease ahead at season five. I know you don't want to give too much away, but I remember talking to you season three. You were like, I like to stay out of it. I don't want my life to become, you know, the main story on the show. Jason, that season five tease, it's all about your personal life. Well, let's put it this way. I'm, while I'm not someone who's very comfortable kind of sharing as much as the other women, in my personal life, I'm very comfortable with Chriselle. Um, so I think that made it a lot easier on me. Did you guys hear the news? No, what news? It's insane yeah. to me. I don't know what to say. I knew before they told me. So weird though, but like exciting, but like so rough. I'm not getting into that. You know, we're not criminals. We're not doing anything wrong. Had you asked me like a year ago, if like, I ever see myself going, you know, having a, a relationship exposed on camera, I'd be like, F no. That the producers at one point asked me to go on a date, you know, on one of the seasons. And I said, no, but you know, things change and I'm just extremely comfortable with her. And I, you know, we have just, there's just such deep trust and respect that I just, it doesn't, if there's one person on the planet, I think I'd be comfortable putting my relationship out there with on camera, it's her. So she's made it, you know, easier on me. And I've, and we get into it and, I, and there are definitely some scenes where, you know, very personal, um, but I found myself to be way more comfortable than I thought I would be. And I, I, I have to credit Chriselle for that. Well, you have the show in common too. It's not like you're bringing in somebody who has to understand that whole world. It's, you guys already speak that shorthand of what it's like to make the show on top of Live Your Lives. So I think that probably yeah. was a one less barrier to entry, I guess. You know, we have real um, things that we're, you know, that we're dealing with and working out and discussing. Uh, and we do that on the show. Uh, and I, I guess, I, I don't know why, I, but I definitely was comfortable, more comfortable than I thought I would be doing that. How much of that kind of you guys falling for each other are we gonna see? Because the tease implies that it's a shock to the office. It was a shock to the office. Um, I had told Mary, my brother, and I guess there's then, it was some people knew or thought, you know, so I think outside of those two clear people knowing, then there was kind of just a, it was a different level of understanding for, uh, for everyone else. Um, and then for some people, it was just totally out of the blue. And that was on purpose. I mean, we, we wanted to be careful for so many different reasons before going public. Who made the first move? We argue about this, <laughs> uh, but I'm probably going to have to go with me on that. I mean, it was a very, it was kind of a, I'm trying to remember, to trying to think about how, actually how detailed I want to be. But I think I leaned in for the first kiss. I, I'll put that on me. Okay. Well, so was it kind of a slow build that you're just spending more time as friends and it turned into something? Even after we had been friends for so long, I don't think either of us had it on our radar at all. There was a night that, you know, we kissed. And I think it was, out, honestly, it was out of the blue for both of us. Uh, so it was, and then even then it was like, okay, this is just fun. Um, I don't think we were taking it too seriously at, at that point either. But no, I would definitely say, had you asked me even a few hours before we first kissed, if I was even thinking about Chriselle romantically, I would have said no. And I think she would have said the same. So it was a, it was a surprise to us. It sounds like a spark flew with that kiss. We get these little moments in season four that are made from each of you of like, longing glances there's that whole she brings in simu Liu for a consult yeah. and the camera keeps cutting away <laughs> to you how much of that is true and how much is kind of creative so editing there, for the show definitely during season four we were you know i i don't remember the timelines that well but certainly we were together or dating or i don't again i'm so bad with with dates but and i think that there were some things that that we did that we thought would have made season four because we thought maybe they were a little bit more obvious. And then there are some things that we didn't think like the Simu uh, scene where I think that that production had some fun with that. <laughs> Let's put it that way. All right, so this, uh, it's interesting to try and piece together this timeline. Did the kiss happen on or off camera? Our first kiss was not on camera. Okay. Yeah. What's your, <laughs> what's your favorite thing about- Definitely Chrishell? not kiss Chriselle for the first time. <laughs> 
what, what's your favorite thing about her as a partner now? Oh my gosh. I mean, there's, there's a lot. Um, I mean, uh, this is the most kind of fulfilling and rewarding relationship I've ever been in. She, I don't need, there's not, there's certainly not one thing, but I would maybe just go with like five. I'd say that the level of respect and admiration that I have for her, um, and, and love and trust and the communication and the honesty, uh, it just feels very, and she's so sweet, you know, I mean, she's just a very thoughtful, like, I'm just very happy around her. And that uh, is probably my favorite thing. It's just kind of how happy I am around her. But she just has a lot of, you know, just very impressive qualities. I, I feel like I've matured more as a boyfriend and as a person and someone in a relationship with her. Uh, I, so it's been a very rewarding relationship for me in, in for many different reasons. How do you feel about when season five comes out seeing it all back and watching those moments play out and now everybody getting a chance to weigh in on it. Don't really, I don't know, I have very thick skin and I don't read social media much or it's like, so for me, like, I just care about me and her and, and my relationships. Uh, so that I have actually zero concern about, it. I haven't even thought about it, to be honest. <laughs> like it just is what it is. And we're very real. I mean, I think the audience is gonna see us and yeah. I have no problem with people judging me for who I am. Well, it sounds like it's everything you want in this moment in your life. And she checks a lot of boxes and you look very happy. Thank you. I, I get that a lot. Um, has getting romantically involved complicated the work at all or not? Because you kind of, you know this, how to do this because of the Mary of it all. <laughs> yeah, it, no, it hasn't complicated the work at all. I mean, it's just made it better because, you know, we we get to discuss, we talk, we, we have so much in common, obviously. So we get to talk about work when we're at home. Um, but no, I, I hasn't complicated it at all. Maybe I'm being naive or, or maybe I'm just forgetting a couple things, but quite honestly, I would say it hasn't complicated work at all. I mean, let's be honest, Chriselle and I share the same best friend. So it's, kind of, it's kind of, whether or not Chriselle and I were to be together, we'd probably be around all the time anyway. Is she the one, Jason? I don't really know what that means, but. <laughs> I mean, I'm in love with her. <laughs>